hey what's up so there is a new update to the winlaker uh, it is a free and open source application uh, using this you can run windows apps on an android phone it's a it's a really cool application when it was in version one like the first release uh, i made a video on this like how to install and all that now there are new updates as of me making this video uh, this is the version 3.1 with this update installing this app becomes really easy plus there are a few new features and many improvements so to download this simply go to the official github page it's the win later and then go to releases and then just simply download the latest apk file you don't actually need to download obb file now uh, just download the apk install it and then uh, open the even later application once you open this it will say unable to find obb image so uh, do you want to download the file and install just click on ok now starting from this new update uh, it actually downloads the obb for you so you don't have to manually you know download and install the obb done downloading now it says installing obb image and it will take a few seconds and uh, we're just gonna wait okay done now you can go to the menu and check other settings and all that so to get started you actually have to click on this plus icon and then it will create a new container you can rename the container if you want like i'm just gonna call it win why not and then you can change the screen size and all that you can go up to 1080p so depending on how powerful your phone is you can go like select the different resolution rest uh, you can leave it as it is uh, if you are new to this just try this out first and then you can uh, tweak this thing even further even after you create a new container you can actually customize this so i'm gonna leave as it is and i'm gonna click on this uh, right check mark and then it will say creating container and you can see we have the container now you, we can click on this menu and we have different options here run edit duplicate remove and storage info so basically you just click on run and it will start the emulator just like that and here it is it will always launch the file manager here first i want to show you guys something else like go back click on back gesture like go back uh, and then you'll see options like keyboard input controls toggle full screen task manager and click on this option touchpad help if you click on this this way you'll learn how to control this emulator right for mouse left click click once mouse right click scroll wheel and main menu so you need to learn this then you'll be able to operate this emulator so this is really important and then you can also go full screen just like that the aspect ratio was four into three i think so it's not gonna look that good so what you can do is go back and edit this and change the screen size to 16 by 9. i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna run it now now we have the 16 by 9 screen aspect ratio so if we go full screen uh, toggle full screen you can see now it looks better all right now how to install the programs and all that so for that what you can do is you can actually download the windows programs uh, on your phone using like your phone's browser uh, like for example i looked for the doom game okay it's uh, in the archive.org and i'm gonna download this game oh it's an iso file i don't know if i can mount the iso file in here so i'm gonna download it anyway so let's look for something else okay let's download this uh, the pac-man uh, i hope it's an exe file okay there is one exe file i'm gonna download it and this should be enough for the demo now we're gonna go back to the win later okay i'm gonna have to run this one more time now we simply 
go to the D drive, actually have to click on the D letter. We have to select that. So you can see we have the pack jam. Okay, I thought we downloaded the Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm gonna open this. I, I think I did open this. Yeah, you can see <laughs> it's a portable game actually. Okay, so you can see it's a Windows game that we are running. Let's try to mount the Doom. I don't think we can mount ISO file in here because it didn't do anything. I think we need a program which can open the ISO file. Like in modern Windows 8 or above, Windows 10, 11, uh, we can mount the ISO file directly into the file manager. But in old Windows, we need a program to open a ISO file. So I think we need that. But you got the idea. Okay, so simply download the programs on your phone and then uh, just install it using this method. Or you can uh, download a web browser. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna download a web browser for this. I have downloaded the Firefox uh, for Windows XP. One more thing, uh, you know, you do not expect to run Windows 10, 11 programs in it. This can only install programs and games which are compatible with Windows XP or below. Maybe there are some programs which still works on Windows XP and also works on Windows 10, 11. Yeah, you can also install them. So do not expect like latest and greatest things to be installed. Now I'm gonna actually install the Firefox that I just downloaded. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, uh, open, and you can see it's working. So you can see Firefox is installed. I'm just gonna launch this now. Okay, it didn't launch. So let's try to run this one more time. Okay, maybe this version of Firefox isn't compatible with this. Right. Yeah, you can see it is installed. All right. But I don't know what happened to this guy. Maybe this version of Firefox doesn't work that well. Maybe I need even lower version of Firefox. Maybe Firefox 40, 42 something. It's 52. So basically what I was trying to do here is once you have the browser installed, you can download the Windows programs plus surf the internet. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.